Hey guys, sorry for like the super awkward angle, but um, yeah, I just got home from guard camp and I'm going to show you guys this um, hot pink and zebra nail tutorial. And the things you'll need are um, a top coat, I'm using the Sally Hansen Teflon Tough. A base coat, I'm using the Orly Rubberized Bonder. This is a really great base coat, I really recommend it. A hot pink, I'm using um, Strawberry Margarita by OPI. Um, sorry about that. Glitter, I'm using White Lights Glitter by NYC. A white, and I'm using French White Tip, again by NYC. And, um, like a thin, here it is, a thin tipped, um, nail polish. And I'm using the Kiss Brush on Nail Art Paint. So, the first thing you want to do is put on your, um, base coat and paint your nail white. And I figured everyone could already do that by themselves, so, uh, I just decided to skip to the chase. So, after that, you're going to let your white dry. A little bit and then um, you're gonna take your thin black nail polish make sure you get all of it off like not all of it off but you want most you want the brush to be like you don't want the brush to be dripping like see I have the little bubble you don't want any of this so try to get it like as dry as possible okay so just start in one corner you can start in either corner you want I just chose this corner just put it down and pull it across you see my line wasn't totally perfect, but okay, just gonna do that again to make it a little thicker. And you can just go until you get it as thick as you like it. Since this is my thumb, I want mine like pretty thick. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little thicker. There. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Next thing you're going to do is take your pink. And I chose to fill in the top half of my nail, but you can choose to do any half you want. The top or the bottom half. So what you're going to do is start away from the black line you just made. So start like in the corners and instead of making strokes you're going to make these little like not tappings, maybe like almost stippling motions with it. Hope you guys can see that. You know what, why don't I just zoom this in? That'd be so much smarter. There we go. Okay. So going to do that. Just fill it all in, start out away like I said, and just work your way in slowly. Make sure mostly all the white is covered. And if you get some on your nail, I mean not on your nail, of course you're going to get it on your, on your finger, you may want to um get a toothpick, I mean a Q-tip, and dip it in acetone or nail polish remover and then just go around the edges of your fingers but I'm going to take a shower and my mess up so I just come off and I take a shower anyways so I'm not going to worry about that today Ooh. okay went to guard camp today it was pretty fun we had to like do drop spins for like four minutes straight like the whole length of the song um Empire State of Mind by Jay-Z that's a really long song, and you don't realize how long it is until you're doing drop spins to the whole thing of it. But other than that, it was pretty awesome. Okay, now I'm going to start on my zebra, my, zebra, my zebra stripes. And as you can see from these nails, my zebra stripes are far from perfect. So, and zebras are nature, so nothing in nature is really perfect, so it doesn't really have to be perfect. Okay, I'm just going to go, like, make little squiggly-like things. And this is really hard because I can't see. You can connect some of them if you want, have some of them going like in different angles, whatever you want basically. Hmm. I'm trying to talk a lot during this video so you guys aren't just like sitting and like watching me do this. I know that's kind of boring. 
I'm afraid if I like play music or something, the video will like get to all deleted. Okay. Those are good enough zebra stripes, although they suck. Hopefully yours will turn out better. Now, the final two steps I'm not going to do in this video because my camera does not have a pause button on it and I'm not yet good enough at editing to edit out like large chunks of video, but you're going to wait about, I don't know, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 15 to 30 depending on the nail polish you use, and then you're going to take your glitter and try not to use a chunky glitter, like try to use one that's more like of an iridescence than actual like, like this is a chunky glitter. Stay away from something like that. At least for this n nail tutorial. And um, what you're going to do is kind of like how what you did with the pink is you're just going to like kind of stipple the glitter on so you don't make all the colors bleed together. And then I like to let my nails dry for a really, really long time before I put on a top coat. So maybe like an hour after I did that I'd put on my top coat. Like I still went down the top coat for these ones. But yeah, this is it. Um, I think you can do this on short, nail, short nails definitely, but I think it looks better on long nails. My nails are kind of short because I paint, I just cut them because I wanted to paint them this color. So yeah, hope y'all like it. Hope it wasn't too hard. I know a lot of people have already done this. Um, I think Julie G did one that was like French with pink, French with zebra, but I don't know. I get kind of tired of French sometimes. I feel like that's like the new thing is to like French designs or whatever. And yeah, this video has been entirely too long, so just gonna say bye now. Here's one last overview. Thanks for watching!